So there guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a really important part of the job. We're going to glue the bath in. Well, just listen to what I said there. I said glue the bath in. Mechanical fixings for baths are a bit of a thing of the past. You can still whack them in if you like when you're done, but the main thing that's gonna hold this bath in position is going to be glue. And this is partly because of the fact that we've now got much better glues that we can use these days. It's not just a bit of silicon or whatever. We've actually got grippers, grabbers, but also sealants at the same time. So it's not going to be a very long video this, but it is an important one. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our bath slotted in, we're going to get everything glued up, and while the glue's in there and it's still wet, we're just going to drop down our legs and make sure that they're all nicely touching the ground, just kissing the ground, taking the weight of the bath. So if you want to know how to install your bath, how to glue it to the wall, how to fix it down to the floor, this is the video for you. Let's get going. And before we get on with this video, I'm just going to give you a chance to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's really important and it helps the channel grow. Now, let's get on with helping you out getting your bath in. Right, so first things first, I've got my glue here. I'm going to cut it so we've got a reasonably large nib. So you want uh, kind of that sort of angle on it. And we've got a nib there probably about, I don't know, six or seven mil on the end of that. So we've got... Our tile's just here. This is such a great moment of the job doing this bit. Uh, and what we're going to do is when we install, we're going to go up one underneath like that, and then just one along the wall like this. So I'll show you how. We're going to go right into that. First, we need to make sure that corner's really got quite a bit in there. Like that. So the corner's got loads. Lovely. And then we'll just run all the way along. God, I hope I've got enough. <laughs> hope I've got enough glue. The idea is, is this is the main bit of seal, or well, one of, this is not our first defense, okay, of anything going wrong. And then we'll just run a bead just along here. And you know what, why not run one along the bottom as well, just like this. By the way, these are good, these ox beasts, because uh, with that, you kind of, I, don't know, I know you can see how far the plunger is down on these normally, but this here gives you a bit of an idea as to how far we've got left in that, which means in a minute I've got to go and get the other one out the back of the van. Oh God. Anyway, let's get this long one done here. I'll list on the website, on our Amazon store, the glue that we're using for this. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, this isn't about like doing a beautiful matic line or anything like that. This is about just getting it in. Oh my god, I'm going to do it in one whole thing. Oh my god, look at that. Put that little bit in there. Might as well use the rest of this up while we're here. There's no harm in putting too, too much on here. Okay, right, so we're now ready to push the bath in. So the next bit, it's really important now for you to just feel around the edges of the bath, right? And you've got this protective layer. What we do is we pull this back, but we're not pulling it off. We want that protective layer on there right until the very last bit of the job. So it's, um, it might just be a little bit of plastic, but it, this can be the sort of, make or break of whether you get paid or not <laughs> or whether you earn any money out of this job sometimes yeah so we're just going to pull that back make sure it's round off the corners as well right, let's pull that back so it's kind of out of the way see if something like all the way around there and now remember what i said this whole piece this bit of wood that we put in this is where this all comes together this work all that prep we've done over weeks of videos on plumber parts all comes in right now so much fun how to do your back in. So usually stick your ass out as if you're doing a squat. Try and do that. Lift this up and then nudge it forward with your knees. That's the best way of doing it without doing your back. Look, and I'm not putting much stress then on my lower back. Okay, and then just drop it down onto there. Then we can push it in like that. Oh my god, you can feel it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> see it squidging out of that corner there. That's really what I want to see. Squishing out along there. Oh baby! She's not going anywhere. Now that bit's done, we can get underneath 
and get our little feety feet done up. Oh yeah. What I want to show you more than anything else is that the amount of different places we have where we can adjust the height of this. So firstly, this is the locking nut here that locks on our actual plastic foot. Now our plastic foot is also on a thread. So we can actually do that down just so it takes a bit of weight. Yeah. And then we'll check our spirit level bubble again. That's still good. Okay, and that's now where I want it. I want that to be there. So we can lock that up on here, like that. And then we've got a nut just in here that you guys can't see, and a nut there, just make sure these are locked. And that's done. Bloody lovely, look at that. Do the same with this one here. What I usually do is just slacken them off first. Look, and that's still floating a bit, so we're just gonna twist that down. And that's just taking a bit of weight now. And there we go, that's in. Very, very sturdy. Right, so a harder one to do is going to do this one here. The first thing we'll do is we'll slacken this up so it's all floppy, yeah? Tighten the top one up. And we'll just twist this down until it just takes our weight to that there. And then, there you go, that's that one done. As you can see here, this one's a little bit floaty. Oh. That one there's a little bit like that, we don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll just pop a piece, a bit of adhesive along here, just pop that bit of wood on there like so. Um, the reason I don't just want to start whacking screws through here is, um, you know, I've got to remember where all the stuff is, you know, and it's, uh, after a while, it's a bit of a time. And this, the only pressure that's gonna be on this is downwards. It's not gonna be side to side or anything like that. So a little bit of adhesive on there should just be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be a little while pushing that out, what looks like. leave that for a few hours just to nicely dry off. Lovely job. So once we've done that and we know where all those bits and pieces are, we can get under here and actually drill out our tiles or drill into the wooden floor, depending on what you're actually going on. Now this here is a nine, uh, this here is a five millimeter dart tile drill. And on that we've actually got a really good angle drill. This one's made by dart as well. And this is absolutely class. So what we're gonna do is just pop that into our drill, like so. And then we've got something we can just easily get under here like that and drill into where we need to be. Let's do that now. So as it turns out, these tiles are pretty much the hardest tiles in the history of the world. Uh, I did actually drop the C-bomb doing this. If you don't know what the C-bomb is, then perhaps you shouldn't be watching this video. Right, once that's done. So as you can see there, those tiles are rock hard, but that's not going nowhere. Nor's the one there, nor's the one there. The one over on the far side, I tend to just try to get something in if I can, but you know, I'd be lying if I told you I did get one in. Now the last thing is getting some of these feet in. Now often you won't have these to install. A lot of guys will just put some rods of wood down, some, some battening or something like that, but these have been supplied with the bath, so why not use them? Uh, very similar sort of thing, we've got a locking nut here. This is adjustable up and down, so we can change the whole length of this. And there's a couple of blocks of wood under here. And like, again, all it's got to do is just slightly take the weight of what we're working on. Now I'll put my buble just back on here, because I want to make sure that we're not like, warping the bath out of level. Also, just want to make sure with our bubble, that we're not going to be too far in the way where our foot's going to be for when we put our side panel on, okay? That's what we're just making sure now. So we know our side panel is going to come round. There's our two holes. Just cross them. I'm not going to lie, the feeling I had at this point getting these drilled in finally after going through those rock hard tiles was just up there with, you know, some of the best feelings I've ever had in my whole life. These are honestly probably the two, like one of the two most important bits. You think we've got a huge bit of wood across that back, long length across there. We've got a bit of wood across here, taking that most of that weight. We've got a foot there, a foot there, a foot there, a foot there, and a foot in the middle. And then we've got these two here. 
My God, this thing is so well installed. Look, wanna give it a wibble? It literally is nothing. Yeah, loving that. Now I'm gonna put my waist on. Did this in another video, specifically how to do the waist. So check that out on the channel. Right, I'm now gonna pop a thin, what I kind of call under bead, just along here. This is the, the what, what would we call this? I guess the, this would be the middle line of defense for many leaks. We're gonna make sure this gets really pushed in underneath. It's very important now, because this is kind of like the first one I'm putting on, which profile I choose to do. Now I'm gonna use this profile here, which is probably a radius of about four to five millimeters, just on that edge. Uh, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the, the side that is tapered, that's gonna be the way I'm pushing it. The reason we're doing it like that is because that taper will push the silicon into the joint. And then once that's dried later on in the job, once I've done everything else pretty much, then I'll put my white silicon over the top and that'll be our first line of defense. Now then, my dear cherubic sweet peas of delight out there trying to learn how to do some bath work like this, I just want to say about these taps going in. Now, we've siliconed round these threads here. Now, quite rightly, you're going to point out that those shrouds are not going to come off once that silicon is set. That is because we do not need to remove the shrouds to get to the internal inserts, because all we need to do for that is, as you can see, there's a hex there that we just pop a socket on and that's all good. Right, so we've got all that silicon off, smoothed off, it's still wet. What we want to do now is I'm just going to temporarily put the bath tap on. You can see I've just got the tap heads on there. I've actually put them in properly. Now some of you are going to say uh, that mass, the silicon behind there is going to stop us getting those heads off. Remember, we don't have to, do we? If we want to take out the inserts, all we need to do is pull this handle off, he said, <laughs> and then undo that in there using a socket. That's all we've got to do to be able to get there and change those over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lightly run this in with a bit of PTFE on, which isn't what I'm going to actually seal this in when it's done. Now I'm gonna use Loctite, but the PTFE will work fine for now for what we need to do. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill the bath up about a third to a half full, and then let this silicon dry off. So, uh, water on. Let's set some stuff in. So there we go, we're just gonna leave that like that. So we're going to leave that until tomorrow. Uh, this is so like sturdy. Really nowadays, filling up the bath and then doing the silicon in, which is kind of a, an old school thing to do. If you've done what we've done so far, to these steps and to the standard that we've done it, really shouldn't be a requirement. There's not really gonna be any uh, sagging in of the bath. This is a well-made, nice, thick bath. If you find that your bath has got like a see-through, you can kind of see through it, maybe it's a good idea because it's gonna sag slightly when there's water in there. But really, the silicon in thing, when with guys come back for the update on this video on Wednesday when I'm going to be silicon in the bath and also getting the side panel in until then enjoy this little song that was chosen by those at the AL Army have a great week guys see you soon please hit the sub and remember to hold tight
Pas de 